Hello, welcome to Training Tuesday. I'm Rob Evans from the Warrington Training Centre. And today what we're going to look at are the advantages and disadvantages of installing a buffer vessel on your heat pump system. So why put a buffer vessel on? Well, there are a number of reasons why we would do that. First of all, when we add a buffer vessel onto our heating system, especially with a heat pump, what it does, it adds volume to the system. Well, so what? What does that mean? What it actually means is we want the heat pump to run for long, slow periods. When systems start to close down, so for example, if a radiator gets to temperature, or a zone shuts down because it's achieved temperature as well, then as that zone or radiator closes, it reduces volume in the system. Now this can lead to the heat pump cycling on and off. When it does that, we lose efficiency because every time it starts up and shuts down, it's using excess energy. By putting a buffer vessel on, we're adding volume. So when those radiators and valves begin to close down, then we've got a permanent volume inside the system. So the heat pump can stay on, running heat to the buffer vessel to maintain system temperatures, volumes and efficiencies. So that's one reason why we would put a vessel on. Now we do two types of buffer vessels. We do a 40 litre one, and we also do a 25 litre buffer vessel. Now, depending on the size of the system, depends on which vessel we would choose. Now, generally, as a rule of thumb, if it's up to seven kilowatt output on the heat pump, then we can fit the 25 litre one. Any more than that, then we recommend we fit the 40 litre one. Now, just remember what the vessel is there. It's a battery bank of heat, allowing the heat pump to maintain temperatures. Now that's the advantages of putting a buffer vessel on. Well, what are the disadvantages? Well, first of all, we need to create the space in order to fit the buffer vessel. So again, if it's quite a small property, then it's going to be tight to put the actual cylinder or the vessel into the installation. We also need to think about the capital cost because it's going to add cost to the initial installation. But what we can do, we can counter the initial cost with improvements in efficiency. So over the lifetime of the installation, because we are getting greater efficiencies from the heat pump, then the vessel eventually will pay for itself. So they are some of the, the disadvantages and the advantages of installing a buffer vessel. So for further information about buffer vessels and anything about the heat pumps, then you can contact your area sales manager or you can go to the Baxi website, which is baxi.co.uk forward slash training.